This is a story about communications technology, how we use it today, and how we might use it in the future. There's a lot of national data around community communications technology use, <laughs> but here in Multnomah County, we didn't have a lot of data around what's available, what are the inequities, um, how people look are looking to the future uses, and so that was the impetus behind the Your Voice initiative. It's a, a jump ball and everybody's trying to figure out how we get from where we are to where this uh, revolution is taking us and be able to survive it. They're not going to survive unless they have the ability to compete. What I do see is there are people that are only technically literate, but they don't have the balance to really create meaningful work. They did a blast to Facebook and email and they got on the news, you know, they were able to get that message. And then they had cameras at the event. If they'd had to wait to go through the print media to get that, it wouldn't have happened. These days, uh, almost everyone owns a phone, and that is, has revolutionized people's communication. It is perhaps the uh, 21st century's most uh, innovative, most uh, democratic tool. Being able to write a letter is a great thing. Being able to tweet as well can be a good thing, too. The question is how we're going to use them, and who's going to use them. Whatever technologies emerge, the people with the least amount of money, the technologies are available to them, and it doesn't have to be the, the Cadillac version of technology, but it does have to be something that allows them to participate in the full society and the full array of options that are available. That'll be better for them and their children. Youth Arts and Environmental Nonprofit Caldera is a part of the Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission's groundbreaking study on places, personalities, and what we're saying when we talk about communications technology. This is Your Voice, coming soon. I'm Del Fashante. And I'm Zipper. And I'm going to teach Zipper how to sign Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in American Sign Language. I'm a quick learner.